Let's begin by pulling out the contents and setting up the board. Each player gets a set of train cars, blue, red, green, black, and a scoring marker of the same color. Next, deal each player four blue train cards and three destination cards. Then place those two decks next to the board. Also place the longest path bonus card next to the board to be awarded at the end of the game. Finally, set up the community draw cards, which are five cards that anybody can pick up from. So now let's begin playing. Pick up your cards and take a minute to see what you have. You'll have the four color train cards and three destination cards that show you where to place your trains on the map. Also take a minute to familiarize yourself with the board, just like Tiffany did. Say for example, she had a card that told her to go from Chicago to New Orleans she would want to look to get an idea of where those two cities are. See, geography is helpful. Now let's begin our turns. You have three options on your turn. One, you can draw two train cards, either from the deck, from the five community cards, or even one from both. Two, you can play your trains on a route. Or three, you can draw new destination cards if you don't like the ones you have. You wouldn't do that until later in the game though, so starting out, you'll either draw cards or play trains. So let me tell you how the train cards work. There are eight colors plus rainbow trains, which are wild. Let's go with an example. You have a destination card that tells you to go from Chicago to Houston. You must go one leg of the journey at a time. So to get from Chicago to Omaha, you would need four blue train cards in your hand because on the board, there are four blue spaces between the two cities. Or you could have three blue train cards and one wild. Get it? Now place the cards you used in the discard pile. When it is your turn again, say that you want to continue your route and get to Kansas City from Omaha. Those spaces are gray, which means you can use any color you'd like to claim that route. Now say after a few turns, you finally make it to Houston. That means you have finished that destination card and received the points in the bottom right corner. Move your marker around the edge of the board that many places. Continue playing like this until one player uses all their trains. Always be on the lookout though, other players can block you from finishing your routes on accident or even on purpose. That's it guys. Don't ask me to explain scoring please, it's too much. Go read the back of the rules book. And if you have any questions as the game goes along, look at the rule book too. Have fun!